What's up, y'all? You tuned in to another episode of K40 757. What? over this car and we hit a curb and probably a couple uh probably a couple bumps and everything in the road and probably a fire hydrant but we're fine but oh shit but, uh, we're fine yeah but we are at mango Manx in hampton and phoebus woo if you have not already, please go on the channel and hit the subscribe button and also turn on your notifications so you won't miss any content. Thank you. All right, all right, all right. All right. So we're going to try this again. We're going to try this again. But thank you for tuning in to another um, dripped out version. You know, look, look at the fit. Ooh, ooh. Another dripped out version of KFD 757. Um, but yeah, we're back. So, right here, uh, here today we are here in Hamden and Mango Maydays. I think that's how you pronounce the name. I don't know. It's a Creole restaurant down. In, um, it's a Creole restaurant down in like the Phoebus area. And uh, from what I see, like they've been in like the Shark Tank. They was on. They uh, sell some of their pro they sell some of their packaged products on like um, on QVC. Uh, you'll see that was in the come up because they got out on the door. <laughs> but I you know, had to walk in here. Okay, definitely. Had to walk in here to uh, confirm my reservation. So I it up. But look at this place. That was dope. It's really dope. see what they got here so this is a drink menu that they got they got a pretty decent drink menu like to be honest like it's look, look how long this thing is like so this is the food menu right here so this is the food menu you got two sides of it you got two sides of it and everything there's some pretty decent prices in here i like it i really do really okay from the pictures of everything it looks so delicious so I'm gonna see how this one goes right, cool cool yeah, sure, I, think gonna give me, I think I might actually give me a drink today yeah I mean I still gotta work out this but you know responsibilities so I have one outside oh here she come good evening Hi, my name is Avery. I'll be taking care of you. Let's see. Is this your first time? Yeah. Okay. Well, welcome. So we're a French Creole Neo-style restaurant. Mm -hmm. Everything here is made from scratch. Mm -hmm. A little bit about the menu. The highlighted boxes are some of our house favorites. And the ones that have the mango motor corn feature are mango preserves and so forth. May I serve you off with a mango tea or mango lemonade or celebrate a cocktail? 
I have a, I'll try to make a little, uh, well, matter of fact, what, what do you recommend? Let's see. I would say do the Avery Panache. That's a mix. So it's the mango tea and mango lemonade. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. It's a good one. Can we spike it? <laughs> it's spiked? No, but if you wanted the spike version, we have the humidity. That's the mango coconut rum and the mango puree with the coconut rim. And then we also have the mango electric lemonade, which is the vodka, mango lemonade, and grenadine. All right, so you said that was the, uh, the humid tea? Yes, the humidity. That's the tea version. And then the mango electric lemonade is the spike lemonade version. I'm gonna go and get that humidity. Okay, I'll have that right up for you. Appreciate it. See, I like this place already. So see, this is why you come to black owned restaurants. <laughs> if any of you have seen my uh, my video that's exclusively only on um, Facebook that I have posted, that's, uh, it was for um, Brunch House. That, that's what this place reminds me of, like, what it's like. I mean, that was a black owned place too, but they're not there. They're not there anymore. So, uh, for some reasons, for numbers of reasons, actually. But I got a thing in my face. <laughs> but um, as far as everything here, like it, it's like a really chill vibe. It's like a nice place to bring somebody on a date. I would definitely say that. I feel like I'm kind of like. I mean, even though some people are here and they're not really like. Stuff and stuff like that. Some like people aren't out there doing that or stuff like that. It's like, I feel kind of out of place in a sense. Like, I'm not, yeah, just, in a, just in a sense, but not really because, I mean, like, sure, it's a black one restaurant. It is what it is. Wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. Y'all can mean, y'all can show that. I can't hang it. I can't even show that on camera yet. I had to put this on because somebody said so it's close to me, but still, like, yeah, shit, saw that. That food looked amazing. Oh my god, I just saw it in person. I just want my plate yet because I ain't order. Oh, dang, I missed it again. I can't. Ah, man. Uh, girl, girl, I, I really feel like somebody with a violin should be just walking through here playing for real, for real. Like, either a violin or something like, you know, like, Alan drums, violin, a cello, you know, like a Louisiana jazz band. They got the music playing in the background. I feel like it's really like a Louisiana jazz band going on right now. Yes. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Look at this. Getting ghost star on blood. Kids don't drink this time. All right, that was good. That was like really, really good. Like for alcohol drink, you can't even test the alcohol for real, but I'm pretty sure they put a good, a good, good, good amount of co coconut rum in that. But let me stop playing and order this food. I'm hungry. Cajun seasoning on top. Let's see. The fried green tomatoes is really good. It's a light version. Um, we do also have vegan gumbo. Ooh. <laughs> Ooh. Okay, cool, 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 cool. So, um, like how big is like the, I see y'all got lo the, ha the lobster mac and cheese. So, so the lobster mac and cheese is one of our bigger entrees. That come in a nice uh, plate size right there. And it's really filling. You'll most likely take home a to the box. Because it has lobster chunks actually in the sauce. Mm -hmm. And then you have the lobster tail as well. So that's a really good entree. Okay. I'm a, if you can give a few more minutes. But y'all got some really good things with me right now. <laughs> Appreciate it. Thank you. Like, it looks like I'm gonna go with the Neo Soul egg rolls that have the collard greens, uh, have the collard greens, cheddar, uh, black eyed peas, onions. I'm not really a big too fan of black eyed peas, but mixed in, it can be really, really, really good. Then it says, like, it has a uh, gluten free rocks, 
uh, filled with onions, carrots, and a lot of other ingredients. So I'm really excited about that. The next thing on my list that I, I have a, that, I, that I want to go for is going to be the um, it's going to be a cup of the uh, vegan gumbo. It's just like, a, like I say, it has a uh, flavorful gluten-free rice with uh, filled with corn. Like it's pretty much like you get both of them. You pretty much get both of them with the uh, miso egg roll. So I'm like, I'm gonna ask about that and just make sure I'm not doing too much. And next to my entree, if y'all remember, uh, if y'all if y'all remember when I went to um, Gucci's Bistro, y'all are gonna love this place. They're gonna love this one. Lobster mac and cheese. It's eight ounces of lobster, uh, four ounces of grilled lobster tail. So a whole lobster tail. I know I had lobster tail in my, la in my last video, but look, I like I like I like seafood. Leave me alone. <laughs> I like seafood, the minimum, so whatever. But yeah, it comes with it. And it has a lot of meat. It has a lot of meat inside of the meal. cheese. Let's go. Like, oh. yeah. And then they got gum they got gumbo here. And of course, it got, it, it's a Cajun restaurant. You gotta have gumbo. So, and the gumbo has to be right. So we're gonna see how this one goes. All right. So in the meantime, while I'm waiting for. Um, and they come back so I can go in order. And I can look at, we got a few people in here. It was it's a decent little it was a decent little wait outside too. Um, I'm show y'all around a little bit from what I can see from my seat. So yeah. So the bar over there looks pretty cool. Like how they have everything set up. And then these are like the specialty drinks that they have. The uh, rich girl, um, the rich girl cool boy, and the humidity, the less screwed. Don't let me buy you a drink. <laughs> I don't know, look, I have TV in my way. And the last one that's on that list is the French 75. It's like a fresh squeeze, um, it's fresh squeeze lemon juice, some syrup, and champagne. That's, I mean, that sounds pretty decent. Other than that, this is the rest of the place. It's a small, like, like they told me uh, beforehand, it's a small little bistro in here. Where I'm at is like right here in the They put me in, got my own little corner. Like, it looks like a whole like lounge. It could be like a lounge or something like that. You get a DJ in here or whatever. Like I said, put a band or something in here. It would be so, 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 so good. I don't know how it is on a normal basis, but that's just my ideas. So if y'all watch this, if, if that's not something y'all do, I, I really, really, really recommend doing that. Y'all got the patio area and everything for it. It's, it, like the outside of it looks pretty dope. Um, it's a small it's a small kitchen too. So um, they have out right now. They have outdoor seating. You have to have that reservation to even get in here for the most part. Or you have to sit. Or you have to sit and wait until something opens up, or somebody doesn't show up there. So that's pretty much how that goes. So now we wait for ordering. Um, but uh, I'm getting that, and I'm also getting the uh, vegan gum, the vegan gumbo. Yeah, I'm get I'm get a cup just so just so I can try it out. Um, and for the entree, I'm gonna go ahead and, and go for the. Uh, you knew it. Great choice. Great choice. You knew it. Oh, y'all have salmon. Ooh. Go for the lobster mac. The lobster mac, you can't get anywhere else. So, like, what's the highlight dish that y'all see that people order? The highlight dish? The lobster mac and cheese, the shrimp and grits. Um, usually people who want something more to the soul food would do the uh, chicken fried chicken. Um, that's really good. But I would do the lobster mac or crepes. That's a house favorite as well. Do y'all do, do breakfast all day long? Or? So no, we stopped serving breakfast at 12 o'clock. Okay. 
Yes, so we do that from 9 to 12. And then because we're a scratch kitchen, we turn over. So from 12 to uh, 3 o'clock, we do lunch, and then we close. And then we open back up from 5.30 to 9 o'clock for dinner. Okay, okay, okay. Ooh, cool. Like, so what's the one thing in that, that's here you won't, you're not going to find nowhere else? Fried salmon. Huh? We do a fried salmon sandwich. That's what I'm gonna do. Yes, lard candy. So that's on our lunch menu. But we oh, do have no. the panache platter where you could upgrade and you could do fried salmon. I might have to do a double episode. I might have to come back for <laughs> this. Might not be poke. This, yes, this might not go this week. Yes, for breakfast, lunch, and dinner. So he already have one off the bar. He got two more times. Oh no. <laughs> yes. Okay, so I'll okay. go ahead and put those appetizers in for you, and then that after as well. All right. Thank you. Oh, man, did, did y'all hear that? Did y'all hear that? Fried salmon. Fried. You're not gonna find that nowhere. Nowhere else. Well, at least, at least I haven't. I have about five like fried salmon anywhere. Like, especially around here. Like, bruh. end up post I might end up posting this late. I might just end up posting this late. I highly doubt it though, but I might end up posting this late. We might just do a, a second part a, a part two and this might just go up. That's what it's that's what it's looking like. Oh, man, this is a really, really really nice space. I like it. I like this place. Like it's really somewhere you can really take somebody in like you trying to like wild and all the time to get like a business meeting or something like that. It's um, pretty a nice, it's really a nice place to do that. Pretty quiet too. And like you said, it's a scratch kitchen, so they take a little bit of time to um, get the food, but but for us, it's gonna be worth it. So um, let's see now. Wait. What's it? Okay, so lots of mac and cheese. I'm gonna let y'all know. Don't come here and think you're gonna spend a little bit of money for the lost mac and cheese. It's a nice size dish from what I'm hearing and by the price it better be a nice size dish. Yo. 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 If y'all can smell this. Like I ordered the appetizer. Like, okay. So these ones we got. These ones got those in whatever. But anyways, don't need a bib. Don't need nothing. We about to go in. Oh my god, so I ordered the uh, appetizers just so I get the full experience of how everything's gonna be. Just like I want to get the full experience of what they have. And these are two things I'm not gonna find at any restaurant that I know of so far. <laughs> um, I have to come back here for, for the lunch. So my decision now is gonna, it's gonna be a two part uh, special. So the first part of next, the first part of not next week, but the week after, it's gonna be we're right back at Mango Made It. Well, mango, mango. Let me just say that. Let me stop saying mango, mango. I've been pronouncing it wrong the whole entire time. But don't judge me. It's, it's French. Whatever. All right. Cool. Let's get down to it. All right. Let's try the egg rolls first. Okay. So, um, like I was saying before, um, the. Uh, the egg rolls, the egg rolls themselves. Uh, where is that on the menu? In one second, I completely lost it because I was I was so caught up in this thing. I didn't flip over the menu and everything, looking looking at other stuff. Um, 
Oh yeah, I was on the right side. Whatever. But uh, yeah, so for the appetizers, for the Neo Soul Egg Rolls, for the Neo Soul Egg Rolls, like I was saying before, the Neo Soul Egg Rolls are collard. You got that. They, they put the collard greens in there. Oh, there it goes. But like I was saying, um, so they put the collard greens, so they put the collard greens in it. They put the cheese in it. They put the black eyed peas in it. Then they got the onions. They got the rocks. Who puts rocks in it? Like, who, puts, who puts all of that in? An egg roll. Like an egg roll. Like everything that's in the gumbo is everything is in the vegan gumbo is in the egg roll. So. Well, minus a couple of things or the rice and stuff like that, but still, like, let's see how it goes. You know, let's just hope. Let's just hope my hands. Let's just hope my can, my hands weren't, weren't contaminated. You know, you know, like safety first. Okay. Consistency, I'm, I'm loving it. Like neither flavor is like too overpowering. Neither is like overworking the other. One of the, neither of them are like it could be more, it could be less. It's like a perfect balance of them to me. I like it. And then it has those little tiny bit of heat from the tip like from black pepper. Um, it's one. Bit of savory flavor. I'm trying to break down now. And, uh, I'm trying to really realize, I'm trying to recognize what it really is. But um, yeah, I'm loving this. Okay. okay. Um, for the Neo Soul Egg Rolls, um, for Neo Soul Egg Rolls, I'm not saying that it, I'm not saying that it's like completely perfect, but I'm not saying that it's not. Like, I'm not saying it's completely perfect, but it's definitely uh, it's, it's definitely something worth it's definitely something worth like actually ordering. Um, I would give it a nine. I would give it a nine point five. I know what it reminds me of. It reminds me of um, chicken. Pot, it reminds me of chicken pot pie, but just without the chicken. All right, so I tried that one. So now to put the palate, we got one. The gold straws too. The paper. I thought they were like the metal straws like some places got. But oh well, it's fine. It's, super, it's very creative and like very cost efficient. But um, it comes with a sauce. I don't know what the sauce is. The uh, egg 
the new soul egg rolls come with a sauce. I don't know what the sauce is, really. Let's see. What's like a... And, ooh. Tastes like an aioli. I'm gonna ask. Tastes like a... Yeah, tastes like an aioli. And you know, a, a spicy aioli mayo. With like, they put the seasons in it. They, they put the seasonings in it. It's themselves. So next on the list is the gumbo. The gumbo, the gumbo, the gumbo. So we're gonna try the gumbo and uh, see how it is. I have an idea. But I'm gonna wait to see how it goes. Alright, so it comes with the rice it comes with rice, but it also has like the corn, it also has like, the same some of the same uh, things you have that are in the uh, that are in the uh, the Neo Soul egg rolls. It comes with a cracker, but I highly doubt me use a cracker because they got the egg rolls. Alright, so bottoms up. Ooh, that's hot. That's really hot. Something without meat tastes like beef stew. Not even just beef stew, it, it, they got a nice little rocks to it. Um, like real, like, it, you know, it's like, it's like, I can't know how beef stew is, but it, it does taste like gumbo. It does, it does taste like gumbo. I'm, I'm loving it. Um, I grew up on stuff like this, actually, because. Neither one of my family is from like Louisiana or anything like that. Or, but like I make my own gumbo. My damn, my stepmom just make her uh, her soup, and it's kind of what it reminds me of. It reminds me of home. I'm loving it. Reminds me of living living in my dad's house. I'm, I'm loving it. Oh yeah, it's great. One thing I would say to really recommend, add a little bit more, uh, add a little bit more garlic if you have not added more garlic, with garlic salt, I would definitely say, I mean it's salty enough as it is, but not, to, not overly, not overly salty at all, like, not even overly salty at all, but like, like it's, it's like the right amount of salt, so it's, I mean, you, I mean, you have collard, you have collard greens, and you have collard greens, and you have like, like you have like the rocks and all the fires you put the salt in and stuff like that too. So, okay, so here's my crazy idea that I was talking about: dipping the egg roll and the gumbo. Don't judge me; you have some of the same things. See how it goes. That's a, that's, that, that's a win win, that's a blend. That's a great win. That's a great, 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 great blend. Flavors, like, oh my god. Why don't we don't serve these together? Why don't we serve these together? It's a, oh my god. See, y'all should see these places coming out here. They're gonna look spectacular. Oh my gosh. Mm. So, on a, um, on a, you know, 10 points bill. For the gumbo, for the gumbo I give it a. For the gumbo, I'm gonna give that an 8.9. There's a couple things that could have been tweaked, but it's still worth it. Worth it. Especially if you don't want to do it. Just with me, I have to put the meat for 
two months I wasn't even eating. Then I started eating meat again. So the fact that I eat that and that I can both of these items and still, 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 still eat my meat and get my digestive system, get my digestive system a break. I'm loving it. I'm loving it. Together, my 10 point scale, I get that a 15. If y'all see this, mango, mango, if y'all see this, serve these together. <laughs> okay, so I was right. The, um, the little sauce right here, the little sauce right here, it's a yoli. It tastes pretty decent. It's a little sour. Mm -hmm. I mean, they added vinegar. it out with something else. It's not too twangy either. I like it. Well, that's a pretty that's a pretty decent aioli. A lot of aiolis I shy away from because I don't like I don't like men as a male. But I'm with it. Yeah. minutes hopefully just a real big quick uh, uh, just a real quick uh, tidbit on the customer service a1 the time i walked in here before i even sat down to the time i sat down and started eating my food even after i started eating my food is that the customer service that in here has been a1 even with a even with it being I'm going back up in the kitchen Keep doing what y'all doing. from k food to eat 757 how are you how are you doing how y'all been it's been a little time my hair grew all that type of stuff right <laughs> uh, so i'm trying to make this a really quick short and sweet and try to uh just try to give y'all a little few updates so i so as y'all know the video had the uh episode has taken a lot longer than what um and then what it was supposed to to come out and things of that nature mainly because I had some technical difficulties with the software so um <laughs> so yeah so with that uh, so with that being said um this, this part of the episode is gonna be a little unorthodox uh from what how i normally handle things uh so what uh, so what so pretty much what i'm end up doing is showing you it just like you saw the food you, you got you got you saw the food you had to got to imagine how that tastes with me Oh my gosh, yes. It was some good food. Some really, 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 really good food at Mango Mango. So, with that being said, um, yeah. <laughs> uh, so, how we have to do this now is because some of the video was deleted. <gasps> yes, yes, yes. I know, I know. Some of the, some of the uh, footage was deleted. Um, unfortunately, <laughs> it, uh, not like it wasn't recorded. <laughs> Uh, and that like it wasn't saved. Uh, I had you know, Apple. They have issues, so yeah, they have Apple has issues. So is any other phone company and app company and technology company. They have issues, so um, <laughs> so yeah. So pretty much from there, uh, we uh, from pretty much from there, like we went to Mango Mango. We had. 
the neo soul egg rolls we had the vegan uh the vegan um gum the vegan gumbo that they had that was delicious bro both of them oh my gosh yes so but what was missing that i could not show y'all and i'm so 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 sorry i, I have much apologies left on that um it was the lobster mac the four cheese lobster mac and cheese i think they even probably had truffle cheese in it but i didn't ask those questions well i didn't have those questions on video brat because you know yeah uh so pretty much uh, i'm trying to explain the taste of it um uh, so the lobster the, uh, so i ended up taking that thing home uh, it, it was it was a lot you have a really nice size portion with that um with the lobster mac and cheese so it, it's like so it's like the mac and cheese like every scoop you has have has a lump has like a lump or two already of lobster it's like they pack that thing full of meat i love that the taste of the mac and cheese the taste of the lobster the seasoning that they put on both easily top five places i have been top five top five no hey right, look no question, hands down, top five. Like it gave me chills all over again just thinking about it. Like, <laughs> and then we're doing a part two. We're doing a part two because they have brunch. They have brunch, and they have something I really want to show y'all. I really want to show y'all this one thing because I want to see it myself. So let's get it, yo. So, um, the but the mac and cheese was delicious it was like really like the texture of it wasn't dry it wasn't dry at all it was like every it's like they took their time and coated every single macaroni noodle with lobster and cheese like, like they took their time on every single uh every on every single noodle that's what it tasted like Yeah, I'm glad we're doing black restaurants, y'all. Woo! Where the food at? We hungry!